So within SharePoint, we are able to either um, sign documents uh, yourself or request signatures from the application. And we do have a cool uh, feature here. You can add the folder ID and status directly um, onto this view. Uh, so you'll see what that looks like in just a second. We're going to go ahead and send this out. Um, I do want to mention that we do have uh, automatic backup uh, of your documents within the SharePoint integration as well. So you'll see what that looks like once we send it out. So for this one, I'm just going to click sign yourself. And again, I'm utilizing those text tags to add uh, some of these fields automatically. Um, but if you're like me and you have reusable fields or um, templates that have similar fields each time on your account, we have a really great feature called personalized fields where you can create custom fields with either custom validations. And um, if you want to keep a certain format or name, for example, here, um, these can be easily accessible uh, from your fields on the left side. So I'll just show you here, we can add another recipient. I'll add Lisa, for example, and we can drag over any of the fields we need um, for this document. So again, um, let me just pull this one up. If you do want to customize any validation for your fields, we do have custom validations. You can enter in a regular expression and format these fields in any specific way you'd like. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to keep it one party and sign myself. Okay, and we'll see that and send. And you'll see since, um, let me go back, uh, since both of these fields have the same value for their name, it is automatically populating in other uh, parts of this document. So your recipients do not need to type it in twice. So let's just put some, some things here and we'll finish. Okay, and so you'll see it will take a little bit. We'll see here that the folder ID and status will be updated and our document will be automatically backed up uh, and stored onto SharePoint. So while we're waiting on that, we're just going to go through um, requesting a signature so we can go uh, through our document sending process so there's just a few extra steps. If you need to add more documents to this envelope, we can do that here. You can assign uh, your recipients, enforce a signing sequence, um, or add an authentication level. I'm just going to add me again. And then we're taken uh, back to draft mode to prepare our document. So I'm just going to put signature field here and send. And if you do have customized email templates on your account, you can always choose them from this drop down right before you send out the document. But since I'm just signing myself here, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. And so if you need to request signature from others, you do not need to. Um, sign the document yourself, you will still have access to the envelope timeline here on the right where you can see the history of uh, each document and where it is in the e-signature process. So if we go back here, you can see under folder ID and folder status now, I have that ID number and I have the status uh, of the document I've just sent out. And we do have this folder Foxy eSign executed documents. So my account is set up to add my signers names directly to the title um, of this document. But if we open this up, 
we can see we have the document within SharePoint now along with that signature certificate. And really quick, we can view the document status. So again, if you just wanna take a quick peek at your other contracts that you've sent out, where they are, um, what status they're in, you can easily view those from the integration.